Today's employees have a world of training right at their fingertips, but the guiding hand of the Learning Management System, or LMS, could be found at a prestigious public college in the Midwestern United States. One of the earliest iterations of the LMS came from the mind of Ohio State University psychology professor Sidney L. Pressey. His self-paced testing machine of multiple choice questions provided students with real-time feedback by not proceeding until they chose the correct answer. Three decades later, scientists Gordon Pask and McKinnon Wood evolved Pressy's concept by creating the Self-Adaptive Keyboard Instructor, or Saki. It personalized questions based on a learner's answers. As performance improved, difficulty increased. At the turn of the 60s, a computer-based training system named Play-Doh took things a big step further. Developed by the University of Illinois, Plato allowed trainees to monitor their progress through instructional courses viewed on orange plasma touchscreens. Some 20 years later, MIT and IBM developed Project Athena, a resource for students to access reference materials from any computer on campus. The learning management system as we know it took shape in the early 90s when a team in Norway released Echo, the first fully featured LMS. Shortly after, a Canadian learning network created a similar system geared specifically to train business professionals. As the 21st century arrived, so did the first open source LMS, called Moodle. With a learning experience more personalized than ever, participants gained the ability to choose topics. And with the rise of smartphones and other handheld devices, the modern LMS became mobile and user-friendly incorporating multimedia content to meet the increasing digital demands of today's workforce. Like what you learned? Each episode of HR Evolution explores a different topic to show how far the industry has come. For more on the history of the LMS, visit the link in the description below. Interested in more topics? Subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to stay up to date on new videos.